Although 71% of the Earth is covered in water, only 3% is fresh water, and just 1% is available for drinking. As population rates rise across America, water and wastewater service providers are diligently working with local governments and other service providers to optimize infrastructure and manage demand in order to keep supplying affordable, high-quality drinking water. You can't imagine a day in an urban community without water or sewer services. It would shut our cities down. One of our major challenges today for all water utilities is making sure that we have the appropriate talent. This is a service that requires a lot of different types of talent in, in the organization. Very technical talent, professional talent, chemists, engineers, technicians, electricians, you name it, we use it. These are very complicated facilities that we operate and so that's a very important aspect for us. We worked with our member partners to develop a contract for services that provides incentives for them to manage those peak uses. By managing those peak uses, we can take a lot of cost out of the system long term, and that keeps our charges affordable for the public and our services sustainable. Established in 2016, the Great Lakes Water Authority is the provider of choice for water and wastewater services for 127 municipalities in eight southeast Michigan counties. Through regional collaboration, the GLWA is utilizing best environmentally respectful practices in the treatment and transmission of water and wastewater while promoting healthy communities and economic growth. We're the stewards of public health. Uh, drinking water is a public service that people ingest. So we're very careful about that and we also understand that on the wastewater side, we have a responsibility to protect the, the environment as well. Those two things are our primary mission, but we understand that we're intrinsic to the fabric of every community that we serve. We're core to their economic development and the sustainability of local communities. With the Great Lakes as its source, the GLWA supplies drinking water of unquestionable quality to nearly 40% of the Michigan population and sewer services to nearly 30% of the state. The GLWA operates five water treatment facilities, which supplies water to nearly 3.9 million customers in Southeast Michigan. The goal is to collectively ensure a one water system approach that is economically, socially, and environmentally responsible and leverage its power to benefit the entire region. We talk about it as one water because we have water and wastewater. We have three different intakes into Great Lakes water sources. We take those to one of five water treatment plants. We exceed the standards that are set by the Safe Drinking Water Act. We deliver that through very large pipes to the doorsteps of our communities where we have meters that measure what they're using. And then they take it from there with their local distribution and their local customer relationship. Working in collaboration with other service providers to manage demand and optimize infrastructure investment, the Great Lakes Water Authority is committed to building healthy member communities. The One Water Partnership is a collaborative effort, regional effort, between member communities, regulatory authorities and federal authorities, and the Great Lakes Water Authority in order to provide the best possible water and wastewater services for the entire region. Our community gets great value from the Great Lakes Water Authority collaborative efforts. Uh, we get the model contract, which is a great tool for local communities such as ourselves to be able to manage our costs, to understand how our operations work, and to be able to work collaboratively towards any kinds of issues or situations or problems that may come which might increase our local costs. We have accessibility to a wide range of national and regional experts that help us locally to be able to manage our systems better. So in all, the, the regional collaboration between the Great Lakes and the local communities is a mutually great benefit. Successful in no small part to regional cooperation, the GLWA and its member partner communities work together for the public benefit in an effective and efficient manner. One water, one team. We also have better informed customers. If the customers are informed by the region as to the system issues, system operations, we get information at the managerial level which we can relay to our local customers. As I said before, we're no longer operating in silos, but we're operating as a complete regional unit. 
we are really making as GLWA significant changes in the way we're looking forward. On the water side, we're really saying if we can control these demands, we can constrict our need for capital investment, perhaps save as much as $40 million a year. On the wastewater side, we're making a transition there similar to what the public did in solid waste, reduce, reuse, recycle. We're reducing our energy consumption. We believe as a utility of the future that we could quite possibly be energy neutral, perhaps even an energy generator uh, to meet some of our other utility needs. We're going to be looking at nutrient recovery. Uh, many of the nutrients that we see, particularly phosphorus, that's a limited uh, nutrient in the environment. We can recover it through our process and make it available again for reuse. It's a huge transition that we're making as an individual utility and one that I think the sector is beginning to embrace. It is our responsibility to learn more about water conservation so we can keep our sources sustainable and safe for generations to come. Learn more today about the Great Lakes Water Authority, your source for water. For more information, visit glwater.org.